Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am going to share with you how I am creating a super simple layout in my creative journal. Just as a reminder, if you enjoy this video, please leave me a thumbs up, and if you are not already, please make sure to subscribe. I am basically using exclusively this set of rub-ons from scrapbook.com. They are freaking adorable, and they go on like butter. I, I really was surprised by how much I liked them. I knew that in the package, I thought that they were really cute, but then using them and this layout was even better than I imagined. I will link them for you below in case you like them and you'd like to pick them up as well. I just think they're absolutely adorable. Now I am doing some random sprinkling of the phrases, etc., all over the page. And you can see there I used some of those little individual words. I think they're probably meant to or were designed for cutting apart and then using with other things. But I decided I really liked them in the full strip, like a whole big thing of things you're thankful for or grateful for or whatever. Now the overall design of this is sort of meant to be, at first glance, eclectic, like they're just kind of all over the place, but then obviously leaving room for a little bit of journaling each day. Now look at that fall, so cute. I love the little stars. I love the font for the word, just absolutely positively adorable. So I'm just starting out by putting down the different elements, right? So I put down the fall, the thankful for everything, and then now in the lower right-hand corner, I'm gonna do the repeating thankful. And again, I cannot tell you, these go on like butter, it's amazing. So I'm just sort of placing each of these in individual spots. And again, I can't really do it linearly, like I need to sort of get some different bigger elements on the page so that I can fill in the other spaces, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but anyway. And then this big giant together, you probably can't see it on the screen, but what's really cool about it is that not only are each of the letters different colors, but there's different patterns on there too, and they look absolutely fantastic. And I absolutely love that they're vertical because it really adds something to the design, like switches it up versus them all just being the standard what you expect horizontal words, even though they're different fonts and all of those things and that there's lots of fun with typography, having the vertical part makes it awesome. Like even right there, I just think that the page looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to go through and look. I mean, there's just so many really cool bits and pieces that I'm very happy with. And I know that I want to use some of these little decorative elements in, in addition to the words, so like these little clusters of flowers, and then there's some clusters, of these leaves too. And so I want to start by placing this little cluster up here, and I chose the red one because there was not a red letter at the top right there. Now obviously the E is red, but that I wouldn't have chosen the orange because then that might be too much. I wanted a little more contrast. Now I'm going to use another one of those word strips and I love how it's slightly staggered with the one on the left hand side, but they kind of mimic each other and then bring balance to the both pages as well. Just looks really cool. I like it so much. All right, so now we're gonna pull out the Harvest Wishes. And it's just really cool because it's a very similar font as the Together and the Thankful, but because of it being smaller than the Together and then it being capital letters, which is different than the Thankful and then the different pattern of color, like it just, it really lends itself to being different, to spicing it up a little bit, to making it more interesting, but it's still incredibly simple. Like this is all just very easy and this would be a very, very easy way to pull together weeks in a journal like this where maybe you don't have as much time or as much, you know, like mental capacity to pull it together. So I kind of love it. All right, so now you can see we have got the bulk 
of the designing here. So I'm just kind of also adding like a little bit extra with those flowers. And then I saw these hearts here and I was thinking, you know, my guess is that the hearts probably weren't designed to be used all together either. They were probably meant to be separated just like those words were probably meant to be separated. But I really liked using them as like a little strip, you know, like envisioning like a, a little washi strip or something like that. And it's gonna help separate the journaling too. And I think that'll be very, very fun. All right, so now I'm gonna take these Everyday Explorers number stamps and then my the stamp market navy blue ink pad and I'm going to add the dates to each day and I wanted the blue because a I think the navy blue or that sort of middle colonial French type blue color like they're both really awesome accents in autumn layouts like they're unexpected but they look really good with traditional autumn colors and I love that. So that is it for me this week. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much and make it a great day.